All right, everybody, welcome back to another beer review with me. And I got this one from the, the, the brewery down the street. It's called Modern Methods Bandit Cold IPA, 6.6%. Okay, you got a bunch of hops. To lager temperatures with German lager yeast and hefty dose of rice. What is this thing? What is this? Artwork by Sunny, Sunny Clements of Youngstown, Ohio. Instagram at Sunny on the Web. You can check them out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We're checking them out. Her out. I don't know, Sunny. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna learn today about black inventors, pe black people who invented stuff. Like George Crum was working as a chef at a resort in New York. A customer sent a dish of his French fries back to the kitchen, claiming that they weren't good. In an irritated fit, Crum cut the potatoes as thinly as possible, fried them until they were burnt crisp, and threw a generous handful of salt on a top. top. Thus, the chip was born. There, there you go. I heard it was like sent back. He kept, he had sliced potatoes, and he wanted them thinner and thinner and thinner, and the guy got mad, and he sliced them really thin, and bam, the potato chip was born. Can't say that about Pringles. All right. What is this, anyways? Bandits Love Juice. Did I say that? Bandits Love Juice. I probably did. Yeah, cold IPA. All right. All right. All right. You got quite a head on that. All right. Yeah. All right. That's pretty cool. Okay. It's, uh, eh, it's going down about as normal as a regular beer, but it's kind of slightly hazed to it. I got some... Uh, some murky stuff floating around in there like clouds. Probably from the sediment on the bottom, but that ain't bad. Garrett Morgan developed what he called a, a safety hood after noticing many firefighters were killed by smoke on the job. The hood, which went over the head, featured tubes connecting to wet sponges that filtered out smoke and provided fresh oxygen. Gas mask. Wow. That's... It, the mother of all, the, the mother is the invention of all, necessity is the mother of all invention or something like that. That's, but he, he wasn't, but he was, he was observing. That, that's pretty good. This smells, huh? All right, we'll try it. Uh, it has a different, it's a little lighter. On the uh, IBUs, I would give this about 20, maybe 25. Huh. Let me try another draw on it. It's all right. I mean, yeah, it's all right. I, I, you know what? I'm going to give this one a C plus. Yeah, it's a C plus. And also... Charles Richard, no, wait, Philip P. Philip B. Downing created a mailbox design that featured an outer door and an inner safety door to provide parcels from being stolen. The safety device allowed mailboxes to be set up everywhere. It's a protective mailbox. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, yeah. And the blood bank? Charles Richard Drew became interested in researching the preservation of blood when he was studying at Columbia University. Drew discovered a method of separating red blood cells from plasma and then storing the two components separately. This new process allowed blood to be stored for more than a week, which was the maximum at the time. Drew documented these findings in a paper that led to the first blood bank. I used to give plasma years ago. My mom used to take me down to Youngstown and I used to donate plasma for, I think it was like 10 bucks, 10 or $15. That's all we used to get. I don't know what you get now, but man, I don't know why I did that. Why? I did, I, but I wouldn't do it today. I, I would not, I would absolutely not do it today because someone, I mean, nurses have a hard job and all, but as time goes on with society, you get bigger and bigger idiots, and they can't do a remedial job. They take where I work, but um, 
it, it, someone would screw up and give me the wrong blood. Somebody would screw up. Now, if I made them sign a waiver, if that happened, I sue you for millions, they probably wouldn't sign it because they're probably thinking, oh, I might do that. So I, I, I will never, I won't give blood. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I, it's just the way society's going now. Nope, you can't go to McDonald's and get an order correctly with four different items. It's like, screw it up. I mean, McDonald's and blood bank, but it, same thing. Phlebotomist, drive through worker, about the same. Um, yeah, I'll give this one a C. It's not bad, but eh, it's okay. It's okay. I'll drink another one. All right, this is the last one. Improved ironing board. In the late 19th century, the ironing board was improved by Sarah Boone, Daniel's sister. No, one of the first black women in the U.S. history to receive a patent. She created the narrower and curved design, making it easier to iron garments. Boone's design morphed into the modern day that we use today. That's cool. That is cool. People get, you know, I can imagine what a patent cost back then. Oh, man. You had to have some kind of money. I was going to do a patent one time, an invention idea. I had an invention idea, and they wanted $5,000 just for a product information booklet to send it out to the companies that would make this dang thing. I says, I don't have $5,000. And they're like, well, you can't, can't you go to your, your family members or anything? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, sh I should have, <laughs> if I'd known now, if I'd known then what I know now, I says, why don't you give me $5,000? You think it's such a good idea? And they'd be like, oh, no, no. I, 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 yeah, yeah, it's not such a good idea now because it's your money. So anyways, I'll give it a C. It's okay. And I'll probably have another one. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.